Hello guys, welcome back to the new episode of Medicator. Myself Nidin, I'm a fourth year medical student at Perm State Medical University, Russia. Sorry guys for being late, as we all have messed up somewhere or other due to the current pandemic situation. So I have been worried since days about the upcoming medical aspirants. I'm still wondering that how they're gonna cope up with their academics. So I would like to guide them with some extensive medical resources. So without wasting time, let's jump into our video. Before starting this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get some interesting contents from me. For better understanding, I have dissected this video into three parts. Come on guys, let's have a look into it. According to me, every subject is having three kinds of books. The first is the gold standard books, which are mainly used for getting high yield content from that subject. And the second is the intermediate level books, which are commonly used during our academics. And the last but not least is the life saving books, which are mainly used for quick revisions. So I would like to suggest some important subjects and their textbooks, which are mandatory in first year, like anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. Speaking about the first subject, anatomy, Grace Anatomy is the gold standard book, as it is really helpful for reference for each and every concept. That's why it's called Bible of Anatomy. But the content in this, it's really vast and time consuming. So it's not recommended for all. The next book which we are going to discuss about is B.D. Chavrasya. It's an intermediate level of book, usually preferred by many Indian students. And it has four volumes and the contents are easier to understand and memorize. Talking about the Atlas of Anatomy, Netter's Atlas is the best choice because it have eye-catching images which are easier to grasp like uh, nerve innovation, uh, insertion and origin of muscles, etc. Here comes our favorite stuff, the Handbook of Anatomy, which is written by Dr. B.D. Chaurasia. It's basically used for making flashcards and quick revisions during our exams. Moving to the next subject, Physiology, where we learn the basic mechanisms of human body. The Guyton is the standard book with lots of valuable contents, which forms the base of your medical knowledge, but at times is really exhausted while reading, as it is very vast. But guys, we should never ever give up. If not Guyton, you can use Ganox Physiology as it is really concise, up to date, and a clinically relevant review of human physiology. For the quick revisions, you may use BR's Physiology also. And the third important subject is Biochemistry. The gold standard book for biochemistry is Harper's. It is a single best reference for any biochemistry topic. This book is having a lot of illustrations and various cycles. The other books which can be referred are Lipin Code, Satyanarayanan, etc. As we all are turning techno savvy, online subscriptions are feasible as they are easier to carry with us and one can go through quick revisions within a short period of time. For building up your basics, I would like to suggest Dr. Najib lectures as they are having great illustrations and they provide a good learning platform. Next one is NinjaNet lectures. He is free. Obviously he is on YouTube and he has some amazing videos and he walks you through concepts in a really detailed manner on a whiteboard. Osmosis is one of the popular apps these days which are used by many foreign undergraduates as it is sophisticated and the contents are crystal clear with the help of which we can make flashcards also. Marrow and Propeller are also good companions but mostly used by 5th and 6th year students for their competitive exams. As this is a new term for all, study grammars are basically social media influencers from Instagram. It is one of the positive aspect of taking advantages from sources like them. One of my favorite study grammars is Doctor Behind the Scenes. They are well updated and provide interesting quizzes and have some amazing live sessions with famous mentors. You can also check some more interesting Instagram pages which are really useful for you like Diagnose It, Dr. Nazmul Alam, Medlife EC, etc. Uh, I will put the links down in the description, go and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get new contents from me in future. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you soon. Bye.